This is episode 95, why sharing isn't just a conversation for our kids. Welcome to Alive by Design. My name is Blake Mallon, and we're here to bring you inspiring people, principles, and practices to help you wake up, move toward your meant to, and feel fully alive. Open your mind, and let's dive in. Hey guys, before you listen to the podcast, I just want to drop in and say I appreciate you for being here and I'm super excited about this new Walk With Me series. These are solo episodes where I take some time in the middle of my morning run through the Santa Monica Mountains to share some inspired ideas and thoughts on my mind and heart. If you want to join me for any of these conversations live, you can catch me many mornings on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash blakemallon.page. Would love to see you there. Love you guys. Enjoy the episode. Walk with me. I know you're looking at me saying, Blake, something's different. Haircut, shave. Nope. No mask. No mask. California finally removed the mask requirement for vaccinated individuals in most areas. I know as a state, we're finally catching up to some of y'all. But I just gotta say, feels good. So, for those of you that uh, walk with me frequently, you know that I have little ones, two little ones. My son, Grayson, five and a half, and my daughter, Sadie, she is a force, (laughs) is about to turn three. So as all parents out there know, part of the reoccurring conversation we have frequently, especially at the younger ages, is on the topic of sharing. How many of you remember that phase with your kids having to stress the importance of sharing how you approach the topic, how you got the point across. Maybe some of you are in a similar season. And we talk a lot to our next generation at young ages about the importance of sharing. But I wanna talk about the adult definition. Forget the kids, that's important. It's a lesson they need. For sure, we gotta be successful as parents at passing on that behavior, that principle. But I don't think that's a lesson that stops with the littles. I think there's a lesson for all of us, no matter who we are, how old we are, where we are, physically and on our own life's journey. I don't think sharing ever goes away. Matter of fact, it evolves, it elevates, or at least it should. And I wanna have that conversation with y'all today. Before we get into sharing like the adult definition, sharing. So how does the definition evolve? Do you think it's important for adults? And no, I'm not talking about just your toys, your physical things, like maybe we teach our kids. Here's what I think when it comes to the adult definition of sharing. I think sharing, it's a genuine intention that starts from within. Intention means what's moving you or compelling you to do so. Some may use the word motive. And I think when it comes to adult sharing, a couple things have to be true. Um, The first is the obvious that we should all bring an energy to each other 
of sharing. All right, there's only two types of energies we can bring. We can bring an energy of receiving, right, getting, or an energy of giving, right, or the term I'm using today with all of us sharing. And in any sort of dynamic, in any sort of conversation, you're either on one side or the other. You're either on the side of receiving, what am I getting out of this, or giving, what am I sharing? And it doesn't necessarily mean just a tangible object. Sure, we can talk about getting, right, or giving tangible things, and don't get me wrong, I think that's an important piece to be able to give certain things to those that are less fortunate. There are people that go without, that have without, that need those things. But I'm talking about more than just things today. Getting to the top, here's a whoo, beautiful view, beautiful day. I'm gonna sit on my rock here. <sighs> Going with uh, berry blue today, one of my favorites. Best energy source, ketones, ketones, ketones every morning. So when it comes to sharing as an energy, I'm going well beyond just the physical things of me giving something to you or getting something from you. I'm talking about the spirit of sharing has to come from a real intention to want to give value to somebody else. Right, and there's no value that's too big or too small. Make somebody else's situation or circumstance better. And better, there is no too big or too small. Um, and I think everybody would have assumed that's part of the de definition of adult giving. It's about right sharing, um, adding value, making better, contributing in some way to another. I think by all means, every definition you probably think about when it comes to sharing is gonna have something along those lines. But I think there's a really important second part when it comes to understanding sharing at a higher level. And that's that it's not just about giving value or making better or contributing in some way. It's about doing so without any intention of receiving anything back because of your action or because of what you did. You see, that second part, in my opinion, is the main part when we talk about elevating to an understanding of what adult sharing is really about. It's about giving without an expectation of return. giving without any sort of expectation. You see, there's a million ways that we can give, and it's by definition giving, giving something, giving some time, giving some energy, but so often we do so with some sort of expectation of what we will receive in return. Sometimes we're very transparent about that. I give my time, right, in exchange for a dollar, right? I give an object in exchange for another, right? I do this for you, so you do this for me. Sometimes we're very upfront when it comes to our expectation of I do and then I receive. A lot of times though, we give without even that expectation being communicated, but the expectation is still there. You give even though it's not communicated with some sort of expectation of what you will get back because of that. And sometimes in those two-way transactions, the other person's aware of the unspoken expectation and sometimes that works. How often though do we go awry when maybe we give something, we don't say what we expect, but we do expect, and then we don't get what we expect, it causes friction or it causes confrontation or it causes an issue, right? Sometimes um, we call those 
covert contracts, right? They're the silent agreements that sometimes we're aware or we're not aware when we give something that we expect back. Matter of fact, sometimes a lot of the strain on relationships, whether it be right, spousal relationships or sitting with others or business partnerships, right, or friendships, sometimes those covert contracts are what cause the strain and, and sometimes end up breaking relationships because people are giving with a certain expectation to receive. And when they don't get that, right, it, it manifests or turns into something else, right? But again, it goes to that point because you're sharing with an expectation to give something back. I think it goes even deeper than that. Sometimes we share just so that we can get a feeling in return, right, of doing something better. And in that feeling, isn't that receiving? Isn't that getting something back? We do something, right, as a way of elevating ourselves, as a way of making ourselves, right, feel a little bit better. Now, I know I'm going deep here, but I want to give us all a challenge, right? When it comes to an elevated level of sharing, this kind of adult sharing for us all, something to aspire to move toward is the opportunity to give, to add value, to make better, to contribute with absolutely no strings attached. There's not a thing coming back. There's not a expectation coming back. There's not a unspoken agreement or covert contract of what will come back. There's not even the giving with the expectation of a feeling that you're going to get back. It is truly a sharing only for the sake of sharing. Wouldn't that be an amazing place if those around you all adopted this definition of sharing, making better, contributing, giving with absolutely no expectation of a return. And you guys, I don't think there is a too big or too small in this scenario, right? Matter of fact, I think it's something we can all practice every single day in our own way. And again, there's no small. Maybe you start, right, something as simple as, hey, you're driving down the road and someone's making a turn and you just, instead of pushing on the gas pedal to zoom by, you slow down a little bit and give them a wave and let the person in with no expectation of anything in return. Maybe you have, you know, someone in your career or your work or your company or your business that right now is just not getting the attention. Maybe they're not the A player. Maybe they're not the starting lineup. Maybe they're not the most important person on the team. But maybe you pause and just contribute to them in some way to put a smile on their face with no expectation in return. You guys, every single day we're surrounded by opportunity to pay it forward, to give back. Sometimes in small ways, right? Sometimes in larger ways with no strings attached. And you guys, I think that is a definition of sharing we can all aspire to be. Now, don't misunderstand me. I'm sharing these inspired thoughts with all of you today as a means also of challenging myself. So in no way am I saying just because I'm delivering this philosophy or this challenge for us to go after, am I perfect at this? By no means at all. But I think it's something we can all work on, myself included, right? Working on continuing to share, continuing to give for no other reason other than the simple act of sharing. Not because you want something back, not because you expect something back, not even because you think it's going to make you feel better, right? Dropping every single bit of expectation in return and giving for the sake of giving, sharing for the sake of sharing, contributing for the sake of contributing, And yes, here's what I'll tell you. My belief is, right? You know, I know some people call it karma, different belief systems or personal growth genres refer to it as different things. But I do believe that if you put that type of energy out, true, right? With the raw intention of purely giving, you can't help. You can't help but have the universe return it in some way. But that can't be the motive, right? That can't be the expectation. That can't be why you do it. But it can be the understanding, guys, if that's how it works. 
right? That's how it works. So I know we spend a lot of energy teaching our younger generations, right? How to share the toys, how to share the things, how not to fight over the object, right? And we do a good job of that for the next generation. But why do we have to stop teaching, right, this principle of sharing? Let's go ahead and maybe elevate our consciousness a little bit. Challenge ourselves when it comes to how we approach a sharing energy. And this week, right, this week, make a conscious effort to share in some way every single day, no matter how little, no matter how big, without any expectation in return. And let's build that habit within each other and watch what happens. Just watch what happens in terms of opportunities starting to open up, energy starting to shift. We know right now the world is definitely in a place where there is a lot of need We're also in a place right now where energy is shifting. Hope is opening up. Optimism is here, right? Masks are coming down. No better time that I can think of to maybe adopt this philosophy and put some sharing intention out into the world. Hope all of you have an amazing day until the next time we walk together, right? Here's to putting sharing energy into those around you. No big, nothing too big, nothing too small. Until the next time, stay safe. Stay sane, stay healthy, and have a great week, everybody. Take care. Hey, guys, one last thing. I'm super excited that this new podcast, The Live by Design, just went live. You see, I designed the show to bring you inspired thoughts and fascinating conversations with the world's most impactful people, to provide transformative principles and practices to help you wake up, move toward your meant to, and feel fully alive. And I'd love for you to help me spread the word now. Simply subscribe, rate, and review the podcast on this platform right now. So if I've ever given you value, please do me this personal favor and go subscribe now. And if you found today's episode helpful in any way, make sure you share this with at least one friend today. You have the power right now to change someone's day. So send them a text message with a link to alivebydesign.com or simply copy and paste the link right from this podcast platform. Who's one person you know right now that you want to see succeed, that you want to see grow, that you want to see feel more alive? Shoot them a text with your largest takeaway from today and be a light in their day. And if you were referred here by a friend, make sure you shoot them a text back and say thank you. I'd love to hear from you directly on what you got from today's podcast. So if you're up for it, drop by my Instagram at Blake Malin and shoot me a DM. And as always, thank you for showing up. I'm grateful for you. And I hope our time together today in some small way helped you feel a little more alive. Until next time.